Welcome to the video tutorial for the iPhone and iPod Touch version of Werner Miller's Age Square. This is a free web app which performs an amazing, almost magical feat. First I'll demonstrate what the program does and then I'll explain how it works. As you might guess from the title, Age Square, the age is important here. In the performance and the explanation we'll assume that this routine is being performed for a man who appears to be in his late 30s or early 40s and his exact age, although you as a performer don't know it, is 38. First, bring up the app and explain that it generates magic squares. This magic square, for example, totals 150. In other words, you add the four squares in the top row, they total 150, as do the four squares in the second, third, and fourth rows. But each of the four columns will also total 150, as well as both diagonals and many more patterns, which will be discussed later. As you remark on the amazing nature of magic squares, ask the person for whom you're performing do you happen to see your age among the numbers on these squares? If you do, don't tell me what your age is, just tell me whether or not you see it here. Since our example man is 38, he'll say yes, since he sees it right here. Once a person confirms they've seen their age, mention that you'd like to try a little experiment. You then click anywhere on the magic square, and some squares will be highlighted in blue. Also, a yes button and a no button will appear at the bottom. Ask the person if they see their age highlighted in blue on the screen. Our example man, seeing that 38 is highlighted, will respond yes, so the yes button is pressed. Once either button is pressed, a different set of squares will be highlighted in blue. Ask again as to whether they see their age highlighted in blue. On the second screen, 38 is not highlighted, so our example man would say no. A third screen pops up with a new arrangement of highlighted squares, and the question is repeated. Our example man replies that his age is not highlighted on the screen, so, click No once again. This fourth screen is the final set of highlighted squares. Here, 38 is highlighted, so Yes would be pressed for this last response. Once the last question has been asked, an entirely new magic square appears that contains much lower numbers. You ask jokingly, I don't suppose you see your age anywhere among these numbers, do you? Regardless of the response, highlight the top row and add up the numbers in that row. 17 plus 12 equals 29. 29 plus 6 equals 35, plus 3 equals 38. You now ask if the total is their age, as 38 is in our example, and they'll say yes. Reply, in that case, your age is just about everywhere in this square. You can then show, with the help of the highlights, that each row totals their age, as do the columns, both diagonals, both pan diagonals, or broken diagonals if you prefer a less technical term, the two by two groups in the corners, the center squares, the corners of the three by three squares, the four corners of the magic square, and even these edge square patterns. After that, all the squares go blank and you're ready to perform it again for a different person. How exactly is this done? This web app comes as a downloadable zip file. If you're watching this on a video uploading site, the address from where you download it will be in the video description. If you're watching this embedded on another site, the poster will hopefully include the address for you. You need to unzip the file once you've downloaded it, and then upload the age square folder and all its contents into your server space. Make sure to note the proper URL so you can access it later. Access it on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or even Mac with Safari, and the starting screen should appear like this. This routine will actually work for anyone whose age ranges from 30 to 85. You'll start by secretly communicating to the program whether you believe the person's age range is in a particular 16-year age range. If you believe the person to be anywhere from 30 to 45, click any of the four buttons in this upper left quadrant. If you believe them to be from 40 to 55, click these squares in the upper right quadrant. For a spectator who appears to be 50 to 65, click on any one of these four squares. For anyone who happens to be between 60 to 75, or at least appears to be, click on any one of these four squares. Now there's also a hidden button down between where the yes and no buttons will later appear. Click on it if you believe the person to be 70 to 85. If you need practice estimating age ranges, the README text file in the zip file has some links to educate and help practice the skill. Since a 38-year-old man in our example appears to fall in the 30 to 45-year age range, We'll click up here. The exact arrangement of numbers is randomly generated, so even the same age range will appear different each time, yet it will always be a magic square. 
The 30 to 45 square will always total 150. The 40 to 55 square will always total 190. 50 to 65 will always total 230. 60 to 75 totals 270. And 70 to 85 totals 310. If you've incorrectly estimated and they don't see their age on the square you bring up, you can simply play this off as a simple magic square generation program and then move on. Assuming they do see their age, you can click on any square and then some squares we highlighted in blue and the yes and no buttons appear. I won't explain the exact method this program uses to determine the age, but if you would like to find out more about it, do a search for age cards magic trick and you'll find many explanations of the principle on the internet. Simply press yes or no as the spectator indicates for each highlighted arrangement of the four screens for 38, yes, no, no, yes. The next screen to come up will be a magic square with their age as the total in numerous patterns. Again, it won't always be the same arrangement even for the same age. From this point until you get to the blank grid again, clicking anywhere in the bottom two rows here will bring up the blank grid, so I'm not going to click on it now. Clicking anywhere in the top two rows will highlight a different set of four squares in predetermined order. Because the highlighted patterns won't change until you click them, you can proceed at whatever pace you need or desire and take as much time to show that the highlight arrangements really do add up to their age. The columns are always next, followed by the diagonals, the broken diagonals or pan diagonals, the 2x2 two two squares in the corner, the center squares, the corners of the 3x3 three three patterns, the four corners of the magic square itself, and the edge squares. Once you get to this final highlighted pattern, the two squares in the middle top row along with the two middle squares in the bottom row, clicking anywhere will return the program to the blank grid ready to start again for someone else. I hope you enjoy this web app. Thank you for watching.